Paul. Now we're going to come to a game called Scene to Music. Uh, scene to Music with Jim and Steve. You like to come down. All they can do is to act out a little scene, and then they have to bring in, uh, incorporate into their acting something which fits in with some music, which will come in after a few seconds. Um, just a scene at the greengrocers. Scene at the greengrocers. More veg. Okay. <laughs> I did say veg. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Um, well, um, well, welcome, 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 welcome to my greengrocer store. This is the friendliest greengrocer I've ever been in. It certainly is. Help yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I helped myself. That's what he told me to do, but I couldn't help but think there was something else behind it. <laughs> As I looked up from my counter, I noticed he was helping himself to some coleslaw that I'd already prepared some moments earlier. This told me he was the coleslaw kid we were looking for. Well, I'll take some of this coleslaw. How much is it? I knew how much it was. I'd seen the price already, but they wanted him to tell me. I found his request extraordinary because the price was clearly written up on the board. I gave him an eyesight test. Can you read that? Sure, I can read that. I said I was bluffing. I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> hey, I'll take some of this coleslaw and maybe some sprouts. Sprouts. Yeah, the key word sprouts. Fifteen years ago, we'd met over a pile of sprouts. And it all ended very messily and very windily. <laughs> we'd met many years before over a pile of sprouts. We were both naked. We moved for the wrong sprout. Brought tears to my eyes, I can tell you. <laughs> but you know what they say? A man can fire on one piston. And he'd had a big family. <laughs> I got the impression you kept, could have kept that up all night, but uh, then I realized I'd just had forgotten to buzz. Anyway, and a shock lead there you're going to, Jim, so well done. Now we come to uh, party quirks. Yes, this is going to feature um, Paul Merton as the host of the party. All the others are guests of the party. They look at the envelopes in front of them. Each of the guests have been allocated a strange way of behaving or a quirk, and uh, Paul has got a guess. Um, what that strange way of behaving is, just from the way they're doing their uh, improvising. And indeed, so have I, because I've lost the list of what they're doing. Uh, but anyway, uh, Paul, if you'd like to come on down here, I've found it again. Uh, Paul, you come down here to be the host. The others come in through imaginary doors. I make uh, doorbell noises. Is the, is the party underway, Paul? Yes. <laughs> it's a sort of cupboard opening party, yeah. obviously. <laughs> MFI man. <laughs> Hello, George, come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I see the party is underway. I'd better get myself together. Um, I'll occupy this uh, situation here. I see you've got all the food laid out in the stalls. Um, I see one or two of them are slightly uh, overweight. Yes, hello. Uh, racing commentator. Yep. <laughs> That's incredibly natural. Just walking about, wizard. I'll put some whale music on. <laughs> Anything else you want? Yeah, I, well, help yourself. What would you like? I can't believe you're taking it so well. It's brilliant. I mean, I brought the video camera to video it when it happens. Are you a sort of expectant father? Yeah, that's close enough. Yes. <laughs> you have fun, a look of it. Uh, there's always some triggers over here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, that's close enough because he came as a chipolata. No, a chipolata. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just, I don't know, I got the wrong. Uh, very good, Paul. Very good. And now we go to a game called March. This is for everybody. If I had to get in a position, everyone's going to make up a song on the spot with the assistance of uh, Richard Vranch at the piano. Um, so, a, a march song they're going to do uh, about something somebody dislikes. Tomatoes! Tomatoes! Sprouts! Tomatoes. Sprouts. Well, vegetables generally, okay? Uh, vegetables, tomatoes, all that. So, vegetables. The vegetable march. 
Where you get it? I love to go out shopping. I do it every day. I shop over here and I shop the other way. <laughs> I buy lots of things, but I never buy veg because it's sold by a man called Rich. <laughs> <clears throat> I hate everything, everything that's green. All kinds of vegetable to me are obscene. I wouldn't spend all day working on a plot. No, quite frankly, I feel a bit of a twat. <laughs> I hate vegetables, I wish they would all finish. But amongst the vegetables I really hate is spinach. I hate all kinds of vegetables, I hate every single one. And if I had the right to get rid of them, I probably would do, I really, you know. <laughs> I've got an aversion of vegetables. They really make me puke. Except for one tomato. I like him. He's called Luke. But the biggest pair of vegetables that really make me sick are the two from Good Morning with Anne and Nick. <laughs> Very, very exciting because uh, for the first time for a long while, it's a dead heat between all four people. So, so well done. And we've got to, uh, so you've got to do the. Well, you've got to do, you've got to do the. Uh, <laughs> Through the credits and the start of my choosing. So, can uh, Paul and Tony do a football interview uh, while they're reading the credits? And the other two are the irritating people who get into the shot uh, <laughs> behind that. It just remains for me to thank Jim Sweeney, Steve Steen, Paul, Merton, Tony, Sally, Richard Brown, Shabana, Smee, Clive, and saying good night. Good night. <laughs>